Hi, I'm Doug Vaughn from Direct Response Support. The most expensive element of your direct response campaign will be the media costs. Therefore, paramount to triumph for your campaign, you need to accurately and quickly analyze the success or failure of your media buys. So, let's explore how to perform this analysis. First, though, we need to cover some background. The reason I like and prefer direct response marketing over image advertising is because direct response marketing has accountability and image advertising does not. The minute after a direct response spot airs, I can tell how much money I made from my media investment and whether it was a profitable or unprofitable decision. On the other hand, with an image ad, I may never know if my media investment was a success or failure. However, there is one big qualification to what I just said. Direct response advertising will only be accountable if it is analyzed correctly. So let's delve into how that analysis works. For an overview, the concept is, after we run media, our order taker service will report how much revenue we generated. And from media invoices, we know what our media seller charged us for the media. Hence, we know how much revenue we earned for every dollar of media investment. And we also know how many orders we have taken for the media dollars we invested. For analysis purposes, our homework, even before our media runs, is to calculate a target metric to shoot for. That is, we need to determine what we can afford to pay per order to compare with what we actually did pay per order. The first step in this quest is to calculate the ad allowable. The ad allowable is the maximum media cost you can afford to pay per order and remain profitable. This is calculated by determining the margin made with whatever you are selling in your marketing campaign. For instance, if you sell an exercise device for $30 and except for your media, your selling and manufacturing expenses per device amount to $8, then your margin is $22. Now, if you also offer an upsell, such as a DVD, and the margin for the DVD is $5, and 50% of your customers buy the DVD that purchased the exercise device, then the margin generated from the upsell per unit of exercise device sold is $5 times 50%, or $2.50. And your total margin for every exercise device sold is $22, generated from exercise device sales, and $2.50 generated from DVD sales, or $24.50. Consequently, $24.50 is your ad allowable. To determine if your media buy is paying out, compare your ad allowable with your actual media cost per order, or CPO. Media that generated a CPO less than your ad allowable is profitable, and you will probably want to buy more of it. Media that generates a CPO greater than your ad allowable is not profitable and you probably don't want to purchase more of it. Another metric that will allow you to draw the same conclusions as comparing the ad allowable to the CPO is the media efficiency ratio or MER. The MER is calculated by dividing the revenue generated by your media by the cost that you paid for your media. So for a given media buy, if you made $200 from customer orders and you purchased the media for $100, then your actual MER is 2. After acquiring your MER from your media results, you will want to compare it with your target MER. Your target MER is the MER your media results need to achieve for those results to be profitable. To calculate your target MER, you can divide your product price by your ad allowable. So going back to our example, our exercise device cost $30 and our ad allowable is $24.50. Then our MER is $30 divided by $24.50, which creates a target MER of 1.2. Now there are other ways that you can create an MER and get different numbers, such as instead of dividing your ad allowable into the product price, you can divide it into your product price and your upsell price Adjust it for conversion rates. Or you can divide your ad allowable into your product price, upsells, and revenue you receive from retail per direct response order or product. How you calculate your MER will depend on what questions you need to ask. 
and what questions you need to ask will depend on the strategic goals of your campaign and your cash flow. For instance, are you using direct response marketing to mainly generate retail sales? Do you need to make a profit directly from direct response marketing? What revenue can you count on coming in months later from continuity or multi-pay orders? Answers to the above questions and several others will determine how to calculate your target MER and how to analyze your results. And we at Direct Response Support are prepared to help you through this analytical process. Before concluding, there are a number of analytical pitfalls that I want to alert you about. For instance, you can go real wrong if you calculate your target MER one way and your ad agency is calculating the actual MER for media results a different way. When that happens, it usually ends up that your target MER is too low and you are losing money with every media placement, but don't discover it until you are broke. For the sake of avoiding the problem just mentioned, I prefer to monitor campaigns by comparing my calculated ad allowable with the cost per order results generated from the media buy rather than using the MER concept. There is often some confusion on the right way to calculate the target and actual MERs, which does not appear as much when just comparing the calculated ad allowable with the cost per order results generated by your media buy. However, done correctly and consistently, the MER method allows you to make the same strategic decisions as the ad allowable cost per order method. Another issue is you may be tempted to set your target MER higher than you require to be profitable. You may figure that you will put a lot of pressure on your ad agency to perform. So you ratchet up your reported target higher than you really need. On the surface, that may seem like a good strategy. However, the results of this maneuver will be that you will force your buyers to be too conservative and they will avoid placing media buys in venues that would have worked for you. Then you have lost marketing opportunity and subsequently reduced the sales volume you could have attained in your rollout. On the other side, if you underreport or undercalculate your MER, your media buyers will place media buys in venues where you lose money even when the buyers hit the target. So on this point, don't underreport or overreport your target metrics. Your campaign will suffer if you do either. Be precise and accurate. If you underreport your target MER, you will go broke because you will spend more money in media buy than you will make from sales. And if you overreport your MER, you may not get the volume of media buy level that you need to roll out the campaign. Either mistake often proves fatal for a campaign. Also, you need to be vigilant about constantly updating your targets. Anytime your campaign expenses change, your target MER or ad allowable will change. Anytime your upsell conversion rates change, your target metrics will also change. Anytime your continuity attrition rate changes or the revenue per order you generate from retail changes, your target MER and ad allowable will change. During a rollout, you really need to be looking at the accuracy of your target metrics weekly. They will change frequently. If you don't think of these metrics as dynamic and in a state of constant flux, then you will be placing media buys based on worthless data, and your campaign will probably fail. Please call us at Direct Response Support at the number provided below if you would like help with calculating your MER or ad allowable. Or call us if you need help with direct response profit projections or cash flow analysis. We have the experience and the software to enable you to derive accurate target metrics to meet the strategic goals of your marketing campaigns. In addition, we can build the financial reports and projections which you need for business plans that you may need to present to investors. We look forward to helping you generate profitable direct response campaigns.